salute G's. It's your boy King Lone Wolf live from Brooklyn. I got a great topic for y'all today. It's been a little minute since I made a video. I gotta get back in the groove because usually I'm just used to, you know, the reason why I enjoy doing lives a lot is because I don't have to really speak on one topic. I enjoy getting on live speaking about everything all at once. But I mean I could have I could have vids that I could do that as well. So we're gonna get into that. We're gonna get those going. Right? But now let's talk about women trying to peer pressure their man to relapse. You probably like, what? Yeah, you'll be surprised. I'm actually on my way walking to the gym right now. Thought I'd make this vid for y'all because I gotta get somewhere where I could post it on some Wi-Fi. Because of my show, so they ain't got no Wi-Fi, obviously. Um, so yeah, so me and, one of, me and one of the G's, usually we have like group conversations a lot. If you want to join the, uh, the group chat, we all in there, we real niggas. We, we, we chop it up like regular people in there, you know what I'm saying? There's no YouTuber ego with me and all that. I talk to everybody, like, like for me, it's regular, regular vibes in there. So if you want to join, the link is in the description. Click that, pull up. We can chop it up, for me? Um... So yeah, the homie, he was like, and he live from Brooklyn too, shout out to the homie. Homie was like, yeah, for me, he was like, pretty much saying, like, I've been trying to really do my thing and go on these long streaks, but does he live with his shorty? Him and his shorty got a daughter. And pretty much when he don't want to release, his shorty be feeling like it make her feel insecure about herself. Right? And pretty much it would end up him peer, being peer pressured to relapse. Right? Because when I tried to ask him, I'm like, so is that why you relapsing with her? Because she say that it make her like she don't like how I feel when you hold it in, so you gonna do it. I'm like, yo, did you really tell her about all of the benefits that it'll bring you? Did you did you tell her that not only will it make you a better man for yourself, but it'll make you a better man for her? And your daughter? And he like, yeah, you know, I broke it down to her, but, uh, uh, you know, pretty much trying to say, like, she not really getting the spill. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, I don't understand how she can't be not getting that. If, okay, she must be kind of entitled, right? Because how does it take for you to tell her about all of these benefits that it's giving you, and now... She still feel like, you know, it make, because of how it make her feel, like pretty much what I got from that is like, it don't matter what it's doing for you. It don't really matter to her. What matter to her is that she, the way it make her feel when you just could dominate her like that and you ain't releasing. Or maybe it's a narcissistic mind game. I ain't trying to accuse this girl of none. I'm just weighing out the options. Because a lot of women could be guilty of any one of these things that I'm bringing up. Now, it could be the narcissistic mind trick of maybe when you told her about the benefits, a lot of women be insecure. Actually, that's one thing he said. He said his girl is very insecure. So, boom. It could be that once you tell your woman and beware this, once you tell your female, matter of fact, don't beware this because you might learn about the kind of female that you're dealing with when you tell her about SR. Now, watch this. If you tell her about SR, she may feel like, oh, you know, now it makes sense that if he's not on SR and relapsing a whole bunch with me, then it'll keep him stagnant. It'll keep his energy, his vibration, his aura, his everything, his masculinity stagnant. So now it may bring out the actual narcissist in the woman to make her want to feel like, Okay, I don't want him to really do no long streak because he's going to be attracting attention from a lot of women, maybe higher quality women, maybe women that can do better than me for him in whatever it is that he's, you know, looking for, whatever that man is looking for, whether it be she may be insecure about the fact that she's not as feminine as she should be. And it may be a super feminine woman he may run into one day at the gym mad feminine ah uh, ah uh, 
and that his masculinity is booming, aura booming, and all that shit. Is he on a journey? And and now, now here come the insecurity, right? I mean, I mean for me, right? Check this out. That's fire. It's a whole, you know, they got a lot of these in New York, but they be doing these murals. Um, I don't know who this is. I think this it says the name Sean Price. Rest in peace, Sean Price. For me, who this right here? Oh, Pop. Pop. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. That's fire. Yeah, son did his thing. I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah, rest in peace. I ain't know too much about dude, but rest in peace, DJ K Slay. I heard recently he passed. Another hip hop legend. But yeah, like me, I get a lot of women attraction when I'm in the gym, my nigga. Like when I'm in the gym. Yo, it was this one time I catch myself getting mad now. That's how I know I'm changing. I catch myself getting mad when I get woman attraction from, from niggas, girls. Because I'm doing my workout. You know, I'm doing the, the sets that I told y'all about. The 5-5-5. Five, five, five. You know, sometimes I up the sets. Might do 10-10-10, ten, 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 whatever. Push-ups, pull-ups, dips. Rotate, 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 rotate. Going crazy. Looking like I'm over there for a whole hour. Going crazy. Now, son is over there in the mirror. He with his girl in front of me. And through the mirror, you could see me behind them. And while he was over here trying to demonstrate some workout for them to do, he over here talking to her and she looking in the mirror at me. And in my mind, I'm just like, like, I don't like the feeling of that no more. Like, I mean, sometimes I ain't going to it be funny. But what I take it as is this. Like, I be... Like, okay, like this is how everybody should take woman attraction. Woman attraction is just confirmation that you're doing your thing. Especially when you're getting woman attraction from other niggas' girls. That's tough. Feel me? And that should let you know, like, when she can't even help herself to look at you when she with her man, that's tough and you tough. Word. Now, even with my ex, feel me? It was even one time I'm trying to explain to her the points of me holding down my seat, this, that, and the third. And then she said some shit where she was like, oh, like, can we at least have one session where, you know, you just all the way let go or you all the way just let me take control and ride you and throw it back on you, this, that, and the third. I'm like, at first, the simp in me just said, yeah, because, you know, she bad. You know, fatty and all that. I'm just thinking about, oh, uh, I'm, I'm like, whoa. I mean, of course. But then when I process it, I'm like, hold on. <laughs> you know, sometimes the women, we don't be using our brain. You know, we be using our other brain that's really not a strong brain because it's a beat down brain, if you know what I mean. Now, <laughs> um, when I thought about it, I'm like, hold on. I'm like, what you, hold on. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> I'm like, what you need to understand about that process is that there is no letting go. Like, like, it's almost like she took it as being on SR is me going to forever be holding back and whatever. Because I'm explaining to her, like, I was explaining to her, like, I don't feel like there's no need for me to ever really release. Like, I really just want to go. Like, you know, I used to have little fantasies and want to, you know, just bust in your mouth or on your face while you do this, do that. But, like, now I don't really see the need for that because, like, that's my life force energy. That's all I got out here. For me? Think about all these, all these niggas out here that just pretty much when they see a woman, it's like, oh, she got the fatty. Oh, she bad. I want to give her everything, right? If your life force energy is all you really got in this world that you could manifest with, that make you feel stronger, you don't feel depleted, right? I feel like I got to say these things because, you know, it's people that feel like they don't understand SR or, or for whatever reason or feel like dudes that practice SR don't get no buns. Are you crazy? What? First of all, I got about seven bodies total since I've been alive. If I really wanted to, I could have been a snipe master. I could have had like 30 right now. Easy. Because, you know, so it's dudes that say, yeah, you know, a lot of my bodies, all of them joints don't be bad. This, that, and the third. If I really wanted to, I could have sniped all type of joints. Like, little bro. Shout out to my blood, little bro. My son, my son double, triple got more numbers than me. I ain't going to speak on his whole situation, but my brother is a is a certified sniper. So if Lil Bro doing it, imagine what I could do. Ain't nobody stunting that, though. For me, like, 
Ain't nobody, and that's what was the beauty of being on SR is that we not stunting and we live from East New York. You know what I'm saying? East New York, Brooklyn. That's a part of Brooklyn. Um, yeah, but ain't nobody stunting that, bro. Like, I'm not, like, I don't even look at big booty Latinas how I used to no more. Like, even them, I'm just in my mind, like, your diet is probably terrible and you mad entitled because all these dudes, like, imagine being entitled because a dude looking at you like he want to bend you over and you entitled. Like, just imagine pedestalizing a, a, a stupid, idiotic woman that feel like she's somebody and want to act like her ish don't stink because it's somebody out here like, like oh, he want to bend me over. I'm the queen of the world because he want to bend me over. Like, you look mad stupid. Like, to me, these women, a lot of women look mad stupid. Like, I was just getting women attraction from a female in the gym. While I'm doing all my sets and all that, another female, and she checking me out. She comes sitting next to me while I'm doing my sets, looking like I'm in the army or something, going crazy, doing them pull-ups, push-ups, dips. And she comes sit by me, and every time I go to, I'm, do, I'm doing some smooth shit. I'm like, watch this. I'm going to do my set. I'm going to turn around. It's a mirror right here. I'm going to act like I'm flexing, but I'm going to peep if shorty looking at me. Every time I did that shit, she looking up to see what I'm looking like from behind. But then when she saw me catching the mirror, she doing that, looking at her phone and shit. But then when she knew I caught her, she was like, oh, he probably going to say something to me now. So she'll glance up every once in a while, check me out while I'm doing my shit now, looking at my face. And we'll just make eye contact and I'll just look away. Do the same shit that they do to us. Now I'm doing that to them. Feel me? Like, the tables have turned. I'm not. And, and shorty was in a gym with eyelashes and makeup. She was another little thick Latina joint with eyelashes, makeup, and we in a gym. That's tough, right? But shout out to the homie I was speaking about earlier. What y'all think about that? And, and is anybody else going through that with your shorty? Like, you telling your shorty about it, and, and she, like, hold on. You not about to try to make me feel like, and hold on, let me tell you this, right? If you talk to a joint... And you done broke the whole shit down till you told her how inspired you are to do it and why you need to do it and why power poor it is for you. And if she ever come out of her mouth and say some shit like that, like, oh, you know, I just feel like, you know, it would be better. Or, or I just feel like, you know how they start? I just feel like, I mean, I just feel like, I mean, I just feel like that, you know, I feel like that, uh, you already, I already don't even care about what you're saying because you just feel like. Well, I just feel like I don't care. <laughs> Let me chill. But I just feel like that, you know, it should, you know, I want to please you too. I, I like, you know what I'm saying? I think my ex might have told me that too. Like something about, you know, you want to please me. Like, okay, what I told Shorty this. Like, yo, I get pleasure out of pleasing you. And then we had a whole argument about that. She like, well, I get, me too though. And I'm like, yo, listen. I'm already getting pleasure from my hard erect brick inside of your wet watery walls penetrating you. That that feels amazing. That's enough pleasure for me. I'm good. I want to make you bust. I want to hear you scream and moan and call my name. And I want to dig you out for 30 minutes. An hour. With a strong piece. And the next time be able to do it with an even stronger piece that doesn't get weakened by me relapsing. You know what I'm saying? Like... When I said earlier, boys is on somebody, two of them. Yeah. Two of them side by side, they on something. Two of the NYPD boys. But imagine, yeah, I try to tell Shoei like, oh, she said, what I said earlier on, in this video, when I said, yeah, she want me to just let me let go. I'm like, hold on, let go? That don't make no sense. If I let go and let you just bounce on my... On my piece and rob me. I'm going to bust. I'm not going to be able to last long. I'm just like, I'm not no, like, what you think this is? Like, so you saying that if I let go, like, that don't make no sense. What's the point of even practicing SR? If I could just let go and last for an hour without busting. No, like, even without practicing SR, it still has to be like a man. First of all, a man that don't even know about SR, no fat. He still got to have intercourse a certain way. But you know what it is? 
Some of these women that got hit by dudes that was off the drugs, off the pills, v laying off the, you know, couple shots of the hen before he hit. And you thinking that this what a dude could really do, especially a dude that don't know about the journey. No, it's cap. It's cavalry. But, I mean, yeah, I'm going to just say that. Don't, don't let nobody try to finesse you out of doing what you need to do. Watch out for insecure women. You feel me? Like, I'm really trying to go years. I'm not stunting women. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I'm going to enjoy with the curvery. I'm going to enjoy being with the curvery. Shorty going to walk up to me like, yo, what's your name? I'm going to be like, yo, my name is with the curvery. What's yours? Like, she's going to be like, huh? Like, yeah, my name with the curvery. That's that's my name. You know what I'm saying? We live from East New York. This is Mr. The Curvery. <laughs> yo, I'm going to call Yo. I'm going to holler at y'all, though. I'm going to try to post this video up, see what happens. This is my little test drive to get back into the videos. Hopefully, when I get to Planet Fitness, I could set up the Wi-Fi in there and be able to post this up. I'm going to holler at y'all. King Lone Wolf out. Salute, y'all.